Using deliver point, we can not just see who's got permissions to different objects with inside SharePoint, but we can also audit how those permissions were assigned in the first place. We can do that by first of all setting up the monitoring of a site collection. So if we want to include audit reports for a site collection, the first thing we need to do is select the site collection, go to audit permissions, and on the drop down choose auditing settings. This will allow us to set the checkbox to start auditing any permission changes within inside that site collection and also allow us to set a retention period, i.e. the number of days that we want to recall the permission changes for. Once we've set up the monitoring, we can simply go through and select a site collection and click onto the audit permissions button. This will produce the audit report for us and it will give the report by default within inside a week time frame. We can go through and select a much larger or smaller time frame simply by using the start and until calendar controls at the top of the page. So once we've set our window, we can see permission changes, also group membership changes, and if there has been any, we can also see any permission inheritance changes as well. So within inside this particular report, we can see the date and time when the permission changes took effect, who the initiator was, what scope the permission change was made at, so this could be made at perhaps a top level site with inside a site collection, albeit it affected other subsites as well. We can see the sites that the permission change was actually triggered at, as well as the permission granted or removed. So in this case, we can see that Charlotte has been receiving either design or full control to multiple sites within inside this site collection. And as we navigate through, we'll be able to see other accounts as well have either been receiving or having their permissions removed. So anything with a red icon is a permission removal. Anything with a green icon is a permission addition. We can also filter this report as well. So if we wanted to look at uh, anybody that has received a particular permission level, we can do so, or if we wanted to focus it on an individual user or an initiator, we can do that as well. So here I'm simply interested in any permission changes made to Phil's account. So here are the permission changes that have taken effect, and we can see that nearly all of them have been a removal of his permissions. Using the group membership changes, we can also start to monitor our SharePoint groups as well. So we can see anybody that's been added or removed from those SharePoint groups. The auditing can be executed anywhere. So as we go to the main deliver point page, it's a simple case of once again, selecting the site collection that we want to audit, clicking onto audit permissions, and that will produce the report for us. And uh, in this particular example, we can see that there were some permission inheritance changes made. Um, so there's two different team sites here where the permissions have been set to inherit rather than break as they were before. Okay, so using deliver point, we are able to audit the permission changes as well as see who's got permissions at any given time.